Welcome to the highlights of day two of uh, the Cricket West Indies Home Series 2018 first test match between the Windies and Sri Lanka. The action taking place at the beautiful Queen's Park Oval in Port of Spain, Trinidad, and uh, the match was well positioned after a competitive first day. The Windies winning the toss Batting first were 246 for six. Dorich not out on 46. Bishu yet to score, but a lot of work was done by Powell, Hope, Chase, and Holder initially. Lahiro Kumara was the most successful bowler for Sri Lanka with three for 57 and bowled with uh, impressive pace. The pitch provided the seamers with enough assistance and that was expected to continue again somewhat into day two with uh, little patches of live grass offering that seam movement. Let's join the top of the action on day two with Darren Ganga and Roshan Abisinger. Shane Dorich, he's been excellent. His partnership uh, with Jason Holder, 90 recovered the West Indies from a spot of bother. He's still there, 46, unbeaten. Going to have three slips in a gully. And the good news is that the sun's shining. That is really good indeed. It's a common thing in the islands. As you go through the islands, Russian, you would see it's a way of life here in the Caribbean. Here's the first ball. Straight away on the pair, on the money. If that's the right word, the line was right, but just a little bit full. Pushed room it off for a couple of runs. Very good delivery. It's again Lakmal probing, always probing. That off stump line got the better of Craig Bratwit. On the first day with a similar delivery. Bratwit using more hands, not covering the ball thing is it's doing just enough it's not doing too much so that's the difficult line short and that will be his 50 his sixth 50 and a very important one in the context of the game and the West Indies 250 is up as well his teammates they appreciate the effort thus far Shane Dorich He's been very good, very watchful at the start of his innings. Yesterday, he laid a very good foundation. Today, he's more assured because he's familiar with the conditions. Looking to impose himself now. He's a busy little player. Oh, that's a good one. That has to be. That has to be. The Sri Lankan fielders are very confident. I thought I heard a sound. I'm not sure. Are they going to review it? Well, 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 they're still thinking about it. Thinking about it. Yes, they go upstairs. I, I thought I certainly heard a sound anyway. Let's see. Oh, the time's up. The time's up, so they need to review quickly. But interesting to see. 15 seconds uh, was up. But let's see whether this was a missed opportunity. Let's listen. Good decision, good decision. <laughs> Very good. There was consensus eventually from the Sri Lankans. They decided to ask for DRS, but lucky for them. Oh. <laughs> Very good delivery. I mean, over the years, uh, having had the opportunity to captain teams never found bowlers who were similar I always felt that if you had a variety of fast bowlers ones who can be consistent in their lines and length and impact bowlers goes through the gap you'll get a boundary and a bowler like Kumara you want to have attack in fields because he is a genuine wicket taker the first boundary comes up for Devendra Bishu well, you'll expect that. You'll expect the tail ender to step away a bit, which he did. His initial reaction was to move away. That's because of Kumara's extra pace. Just watch Dishu's feet just tends to move away slightly and then tends to fend at it. You can't stop those. 
Oh, again, just a little bit uh, struggling against that extra pace. Oh, well bowled, well bowled, but look at Pishu. Just moved away. That's the pace. Yeah, this is a difficult delivery for anyone to play. Much less uh, Devendra Bishu. Maybe there's an option to take the man at mid on, use a square leg just to have Bishu a little more uncomfortable. Very well bowled. But easily taken the edge. Very well bowled. So many deliveries have left the right hand previously, either in the air or off the pitch. This one nipped back, Sunny. Yes, uh, he does uh, get the ball to nip back in quite sharply. We've seen that. Look at that. Just a little flick of the wrist gets the ball to nip back in. You can see that flick of the wrist where he's got the ball. Oh, and it's very close to the off stump. A race towards fine leg and the ball wins inadvertently off the inside edge of the bat. Well, that's what happens. They have the uh, fine leg now a lot squarer more towards the umpire rather than towards the wicket keeper so a little bit of a deflection like this we'll go for a boundary see how wide to the left the fielder is he's got no chance late movement and uh, a difficult angle for Dequella who didn't really move that well, to be fair. Oh, old. that one came back. It came back just that little bit. Again, that flick of the wrist, getting the ball to nip back in. This is a good leave in the end. He watched it right till the end from the bowler's hand. And yes, you can see, come back in maybe a little bit. The umpires will be looking up, they'll be looking at the batsman. When it gets a little heavy, they'll be off. At the moment, it's very slight. Oh, there you are. Asking for the covers. Umpires, Richard Kettleborough and Alim Dar. And there you are. The ground staff running to cover the playing surface. In a rain-affected first session, which was a little abbreviated, the West Indies moved to 268 for six. Dorich was not out at 57 on lunch, and with him was Bishu, only seven, but had already faced 56 deliveries. Sri Lanka's bowlers continued to toil in that session for no reward, though. First delivery after lunch. Nicely played from Devendra Bishu. Alongside me, Russell Arnold. It's been a little bit frustrating for Sri Lanka at the start of today's play. Very nicely played. Dorwich will get a boundary. His eight of his innings. Can't get any better. Well, stroke play can, especially Shane Dowrich. Look at that. He's got the angle right. Lairo Gamage tends to get that shape into the pads and wow, just waited for it and wasn't the timing perfect. Yeah. Yeah, he'll keep the strike. Maybe he'll get a couple. He does. 
Good over for the Windies. 94 overs gone, 275 for six. Edged. Goes through the gap. Maybe third to fourth slip region. And he gets a boundary. That was flying. Third slip, really. No chance. And he's earned that right. He's batted out there for a long time. For the left-hander, though, Bishu, Sri Lanka did have three slips. Should be high. That did bounce. It went through the defense, but they've gone upstairs. Uh, front foot, please. Yeah, front foot's fine. It's the front on, please. Okay, can you just zoom in there, please? I don't think there's any bat. Um, uh, I'm very happy with that ultra edge for me now, please. No, I'm happy there's no bat. You can go through a ball track, and please. And I mean, it's coming now, mate. Pitching outside. Impact umpire's call. Umpire's call wickets as well. Let's go back to Ali Monfield, please. Ali, you're on the screen. Stick with the decision, please. Thank you very much. Well done. First aggressive shot from Devendra Bishu. Might have been a half chance if he reacted a lot quicker. Oh, good strike, good strike. Put the pressure on the veteran, Herat. I'm with you. Better fielder, bit more awareness. If he was on his toes, that's a catch. He reacted late. Lairu Kumar, he's just finished bowling. He's had an over. Dilruan Pereira had an over. Look, reacts. Bishu growing in confidence. Couple runs added to his uh, individual score. It's the 17. Well, it's a double spin attack for Sri Lanka. Oh, that hit the man at short leg. I'm sure he has some protection, but it still seemed to hurt. Let's see where he got hit. I think it's Roche and Silva who's on the ground. Not an easy place to feel, I'll tell you, forward short leg. Never, never an easy place to field. And uh, it looks like a pretty uh, hard blow. It was struck well. But where did he get hit? There's a fair bit of protection that the fielders wear over there. I think he got hit on the knee. I think he got hit on the knee. Ball could have bounced up. And I think that's the reason why he's in agony. He's got the leg guards, but they're not really covering the knee. Baila was deceptively, very deceptively quick with his reflexes. 300 coming up with that little nudge for a single to deep third man, deep point. It's a very good recovery, excellent recovery that. Should be a couple of runs, maybe more. Very useful, but also if you're the fielding side, if you're the captain, can be an absolute nuisance when a tail ender just keeps hanging in there and nudging and deflecting. That's exactly what Bishu has done. This will add salt to the wound. Another boundary for Bishu. It was short, it was down the leg side. It was there for the taking, but what we've seen from Bishu is we've seen a very conservative approach to his batting. Hasn't really played too many aggressive shots. This is one of them. Not controlled, but he will get four for it. Kumara is uh, 
Not pleased to say the least if you heard that through the Stumps Effects microphone, but he's induced the fall shot. That's a good sign for Sri Lanka. He's not comfortable playing it, Devendra Bishu. That line of attack is always challenging for any batsman. Never could tell if the bounce is consistent. What we do know is the pace from Kumara has been consistent. This didn't go to hand. Oh! He's pitching outside leg stump and you can't be given out. Effective, nicely played. Just got inside and deflected that one. She's anticipating it. The field is set for that. We've seen Kumara bang the ball in halfway down. He's banged it again. And he's played it quite nicely. He went off the glove. But he got inside the line. No, not off the glove. It went off the bat. Very nicely played. Just making sure everyone's awake, Dequella. Very competitive figure. Not an easy take. No chance in that. Well controlled. It was easily pitching outside leg stump. Gets a bottom edge. Into the 90s goes Dowrich. That's the 100 run partnership. For the seventh wicket for the Windies. Yes, both the batsmen converging now to congratulate each other. A little bit of a handshake, tapping each other. And no doubt telling, let's go on. Dowrich uh, to 100 and maybe issue to a half century. Got him. Lakmal gets a wicket. Roshan Silva, he hangs on to that. It's a good catch. The ball was travelling. It flashed hard at it. There, he's looking uh, to try and uh, suggest that maybe he should have played it uh, a little quieter. The Sri Lankan flag being waved by the Sri Lankan supporters. Lakmal's really been persisting around that off stump. Look at that, he's gone for the big shot. And Roshan Silva taking a very good catch. The ball was travelling. But what an innings. What a hand from Devendra Pishu. Not the most attractive of innings, but in the context of the team, very, very valuable. 40 to him, 339 for 7. Roach, his weight ends. Been waiting for quite a while with those pads on. He's out there now. That's a hit him on the pads. Look pretty straight though. Could have been going down the leg side. I think it's all dip to Dickwella. Dickwella has to be the guide there. Or oh, they've gone for it. Review for LBW front foot, please. Yeah, lovely. Thank you very much. Just move on to front on, please. Yeah, I'm pretty happy there's no bat, but let's have uh, ultra edge for me, please. Yeah, very happy there's no edge there. Can we move on to uh, ball tracking, please? Ball tracking coming now, Ali. Pitching outside, off, impacting line. Umpire's call on hitting wickets. So you're now back on, Ali. Coming on screen now, Ali. Stick with your decision, mate. Stick with your decision. Thank you very much. Edge. 
That certainly was a noise, but nothing from umpire Alimda. Chandimal doesn't hesitate. He goes upstairs. Uh, let's have the front foot, please. Okay, let's move on to front. On oh, the front foot's fine. Yes, thank you, please. Okay, this. Uh, can you just rock and roll that for me? Uh, it looks wonderful. Uh, can I have Ultra Edge, please? Yes, please. Spike there, going past the bat. Keep rocking and rolling that for me. And let it run now, please. Okay. Okay, I have a, I have a decision. I'll go back on field, please. Uh, Alim, uh, I'd like you to stick with your decision, mate. Balls at the back of the trousers. You're on the screen right now. Well done, mate. How about that? What a great decision from umpire Alim Da. Plenty of experience. Over 100 test matches, and everyone else on the field thought that that was out. Even up here, we heard a noise. Yes, and that's why, because the noise, even the peelers in the slip cotton would have heard that noise, and that's the reason that they went for it. Oh, that's the first real delivery of spin from Herat. Uh, think that it would encourage the Sri Lankan batsman too much, spinning almost directly from the line of the stumps. Pitching about middle and also a bit of turn and bounce. Quick run here. And that they make in the end quite easily. Mid on just a little bit back. Very good running. Roach opens his account with a boundary. Feet nowhere, but certainly the bat did the talking. Just a bit of movement from Gamage. These are all useful runs. Look how wide that is, but managed to get his bat. Beautifully done in the gap. Just a bit too much, but that's his stock delivery that he brings back to the right-hander. Or slightly wider the crease, looks to bring it back. Okay, now this is high, is it going to fall safe? Yes. Just inducing a rather poor shot. It gets to 99. Not the most convincing stroke, but he'll take it. There is the fieldsman coming in from deep, deep extra cover. They're all stopping the single. That's his hundred. Wonderful innings, his second hundred. First in the West Indies. Sixth in first class cricket. And the first West Indian wicket keeper to get a hundred against Sri Lanka. And what a time. I believe it's T. And he'll be extremely pleased with his effort. West Indies go to T on 350 for seven. And so he should be as well. He got a hundred three test matches ago against Zimbabwe. But he still found himself under a bit of scrutiny coming into this one. 
And he has answered in the best possible way, and the smile says it all. And that has to be the context around which this knock and the narratives, the way that he has constructed and dedicated himself in this knock. Outstanding innings, no doubt. They know the value. He's fought hard single-handedly. The last two wickets adding over 200 runs for the West Indies. It speaks volumes of the effort. At T, the Wendy's had moved on quite nicely to 350 for seven, only losing the solitary wicket in the middle session of day two. Bishu was the man who went for 40, but he provided great assistance to Shane Dorich, who notched up his second test match, 100 exactly, 100 not out at T. One wicket in that session went to Saranga Lakmal, who also bowled quite usefully going past the outside edge on a number of occasions. Two wickets to him. shot to start proceedings after tea extended session curtailed first session we had just the nine overs a couple of showers were on and off is it me or do you think that the intent has changed after tea well they would have discussed how in the dressing room they would have said to themselves look uh, Let's try and get as many runs as we can quickly. Oh, what a ball. Brilliant from Suranga Lakmal. Still a bit of movement. He's bowled superbly. Look, square the batsman up again. He goes just a little wide of the crease and then bowls that out swinger around the middle and off stuff squaring the batsman up opening the batsman up completely oh lovely shot there's the intent quite different to what we've seen earlier in the innings yes he would nicely tossed up slower delivery from uh, herat 73 kilometers per hour you can see nicely tossed up seeing if there'll be any purchase for him any purchase and bounce instead he finds a Dowridge coming down the pitch and smashing it for a, a boundary. Four, that'll be four. Tossed up again. No holding back from Kim Roach this time. It's pretty much an identical shot to what uh, Shane Dowridge had played in uh, Herat's previous over. Again tossed up, inviting the big shot. Mid off and uh, mid on in the what would you say a 30 yard circle in limited overs cricket oh good one good bounce but it'll cost him four what was he trying to do there <laughs> I, I was just telling you how good he's batting <laughs> For a while, I told him we were in the Caribbean Premier League, giving himself room to play the extravagant shot. Nice shot. Very firm from Kima Roach. Then try to overhit the ball, allowed it to come to him. But he presented the full face of the bat and had strong wrists in that stroke that's his third boundary that's deflected fine there was a man catching 380 for seven oh, <laughs> that's been hit through mid wicket 
that will race away to the boundary. This is what happens. Well, part-timers can provide you wickets, but they can also go for a few. That was dragged down. Yeah, short delivery. Could have hit it anywhere. Dorich, he's been there for a long time. Picked his spot. Gets an edge. Not where he wanted it to go. And the 50 partnership he's achieved with that boundary. He was looking to go more of extra cover. In fact, uh, only the fourth time the West Indies have a 50 stand for the sixth, seventh and eighth wicket in the same innings. And first such instance was a Sri Lanka. His intentions were good. Loud appeal. And the finger immediately goes up. Okay, can you rock and roll that for me, please? Okay, I'm pretty sure there's no bat. Can we go into uh, Ultra Edge? Would that be ready yet? Have you got a leg side side of that, please, at all? Inside edge. No, I'm pretty happy there's uh, there's no bat on this. Uh, can you go to ball tracking, please? Coming now, Hawkeye. Pitching in line, impact in line. And it's missing the wickets. It's missing leg stump. I need to go back on field, please. Uh, Richard, you're on screen, mate. Um, the ball's missing leg stump. You need to change your decision. Thanks. Great review. Well done to Kema Roach. Aggressive shot from Kema Roach. He's growing in stature with the bat. Brings up the 400. What a recovery we've seen from the Windies. Considering the start of the day, 246 for six. Ima Roach moves on to 27 of 88 deliveries. Well, 300 was a good achievement when they made it, but 400 is outstanding. Another one. That's huge. That is gone a long, long way. Kim Roach starting to enjoy himself. It's the first six of the match. At an insult to injury. Kim Roach. He's now dominating proceedings. He's batting with the set player in that of uh, Shane Dorich. But he's taken lead in terms of run scoring. And why not hitting with the spin? Oh, that's an edge, just past the slip from round the wicket. That's a bit unfortunate, but still a boundary. We'll talk about the stats later on. 410 for seven. Got him. Very good catch with Kimar Roach. Got a good piece of that, Roshane Silva. Big your pardon, it's the captain, Chandimal. That was travelling, did well, head high catch. And I think for me, it is good reward for Lahiru Kumara. He deserves this. And it was a good catch indeed. The timing of the jump was perfect from Chandimal. Very well done, it may look a simple opportunity. Four wickets now for Kumara. Good innings from Roach. 39 to him. 4-14 for 8. Four fourteen for 8. Right. So that will be the end of the Windies effort.
The declaration has been made by the Windies. Jason Holder has called his men in. Lots of uh, applause and shaking of hands for Shane Dorich with his 125, the architect of uh, this West Indian uh, Windies effort with the bat. Brilliant with his second Test match 100. for Kusal Mendes at age 23 starting to understand and enjoy his test match career captain Sri Lanka at under 19 World Cup level they're very entertaining when they're out there with the bat instinctive players Kusal Pereira as well not played a test match in over a year and a half the last was the Boxing Day test match against South Africa in 2016 and I highlighted the fact that you've got to seize moments because I thought Sri Lanka failed to do that in terms of putting pressure on the new batsman. They were guilty of sitting back. Two gullies, three slips. Got him off the toe of the bat. In his first test match, for some time, Pereira toe edges one to that man strategically placed square of the wicket. Well, there was width. We don't know whether it was a plan to bolt the strength of the batsman. He sees it, he goes after it. But that's what you always fear, the instinctive player. He's been out there for a long time. He sees it, he goes for it, and he goes for ball. Sri Lanka, one down for two runs. Uh, Dennis Chandimal at three. His best performances in Test Match Cricket, I think, has come at that four, five and six position. Nice timing from uh, Kusal Mendes. Speeds away for four. Barely touched it. Didn't need to. The pace was there of Gabriel. Not a lot of width. Just flies away off the bat. From what I remember back down in Sri Lanka when we saw him first, that's the area. Four Test Match 100, Russell, all four of them in Asia. So a big test for him to see if he can compile a significant score in this part of the world. Good pace. No ball signal. But it was uncomfortable for Mendes. He gets uh, four leg buys. Yes, there's a bit of hurry up from uh, Shannon Gabriel. 144 kilometers per hour that uh, ball and you can see he's a big fellow yes uh, tough on him tough on him i think maybe they might have been just a little bit something behind that line you can see that hurried up uh, kusal mendes deo dare this one came out wrong. Shannon Gabriel. Maybe just short. Jason Holder, he is celebrating. Umpire Alim Da will consult because he's not sure. Is this another wicket for the Windies? Well. They'll definitely go up. Interesting to see what the soft signal is going to be. Yes, he thinks it's gone. Uh, we don't want to make sure that it's a clean catch. It hasn't landed. Oh. 
Uh, have you got any other uh, views there? That ball's dipping down into... Uh, Uh, can you zoom into that picture, please? Possible? You seem a long, long way away. If we've got something a little bit closer to that. Yeah, OK, just zoom in again there, please, and just hold it there. He's got, I think he's got his fingers nicely underneath it. Just rock and roll it for me, just quickly, please. Yeah, OK, I've got my decision. I'm going to make my decision. Put, can you please put on the big screen? Out. And it's given out. So success for the Windies. This is another wicket. This time, Shannon Gabriel gets his man. Kusal Mendes goes for four, it's 16 for two. Angelo Matthews makes his way to the crease. Oh. He had it, and the opportunity was there. Jason Holder, yet again, in and out. This is tremendous bowling. Again, bouncing a little bit more than he anticipated. Well, look at that. It's gone in and out. Well, Shannon Gabriel can't do much. You can't really show much disappointment when the skippers drop the catch. In the air, was there bat on it? He had to take evasive action. This is some aggressive bowling here from Shannon Gabriel. Cricket has to come up with some sort of a protocol for uh, a blow on the uh, on the helmet. There it is on the side. Very good bouncer. Very very good bouncer. That from Shannon Gabriel. Look at that. Oof! It's come at pace. It is well directed. It was a shorthand jab. Not much foot movement, but he got a good result, a boundary. Straight away, Matthews releases the pressure. They'll be looking for that. Sri Lanka will want to pounce on anything. They've been given a torrid time by Gabriel and to some extent by Cummins, and this will be some relief. Taken. I think it is. I think it is. What a big wicket for the West Indies. Angelo Matthews goes. I think they just want to take a look at the front foot. Dying moments of the game. Sri Lanka loses their most experienced player. What a day it's been for the West Indies. Let's take a look whether it's a legal delivery. Oh, what does that tell you? Is it safe? I think you need to take a closer look, Bish. You need to take a closer look. You need to have something behind the line. I heard you say that. Because when Lahiru Kumara was asked, but is he landing? Is he on the, is he on the line or is he having something behind the line? I can't see anything. I can't see anything, to be honest. Can you see anything, Bish? That is a surprise. That is definitely a surprise to me. With due respect, well, <laughs> look at older. <laughs> Two questions. He dropped Matthews and he very nearly gave him a reprieve. But I have my doubts about that one. Not about the delivery. Not about the catch. 
It's about where that foot landed. But the important thing is Matthews have been given the marching orders. So Matthews goes for 11, it's 30 for 3. So Roshan Silva comes out at a difficult time. It's a, it's a brief career for him. I don't think he's faced a situation like this. Oh, the edge. Now, trouble here. He was looking for a run. So Sri Lanka under pressure, no doubt. Nice bounce and movement from Holder. So he doesn't have to be expressed. What Jason Holder does is present a very good scene position as the ball is still relatively new. He gets the ball to shape and bounce wonderfully well. The top part of the boot in the air. 31 for three. And uh, that looks like stumps with the light fading. Sri Lanka won't be complaining too much. They've had a torrid 10 overs. Roshan Silva 1 and uh, Chandimal 3 survives going into stumps. And they'll have a lot of work to do. Still 383 runs behind for the West Indies. What a sumptuous day they've had. Sri Lanka had a torrid time seeing out the rest of play on day two. They finished on 31 for three. They lost Pereira initially very quickly, then Mendes for four. Matthews went for 11. Chandimal, the captain, still there though, on a three, and Roshan Silva on one. Rhodes picked up one wicket for two runs. Shannon Gabriel, once he found his range, also very impressive with his pace, one for 17. And a wicket for Jason Holder with bounce and movement, though there'll be some discussion about the potential of his foot going over the front line. So the Windies in a very strong position. Sri Lanka still trailing by 383 at the end of day two.